news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. Today I'm making the sound test on the Pioneer SX580, the little receiver right here. I got it in a functionality perfect condition, but uh, you know, it's not mint condition. I got it from the guy in a humble, all the time you have a little scratches and stuff. This receiver give you a lot of functions that you need and uh, you have an excellent tuner, excellent tuner for the price. You get in stations very yes, fast. Nobody has to, and that's really good news. Stay tuned to midday, must see the most. Excellent tuner for this receiver. If you like to listen to radio, you, you're gonna get a lot of stations very easily and I'm not even using antenna over here. And if you need to replace the bulbs inside, it's very easily, very easy to replace the bulbs inside if you need to, to say, uh, change something in the lights. You have three view meters right here. You have the green light right here. And you also, you have the tape monitor and the stereo. I'm gonna use the tape monitor to show you the red light. Is over there, and it look cute. It look very cute. This 20 20 watts per channel, but it's, it can push some speakers. You know, it's only 20 watts. You cannot expect much from 20 watts, but but it give very decent sound. Very decent sound, especially in the mid range area that is colorful. All the mid area is very colorful with this with this receiver so but uh, if you're looking for deep bass and crispy highs you're not gonna get it from this guy no he's not gonna do it for you it's gonna be decent but it's not gonna be great okay so today i'm gonna compare this receiver this pioneer but it's, it sounds very cute. I must say that it sounds very cute. And I compare it today to the Yamaha CR620 that I did the video before on this Yamaha. This Yamaha is less focused in the mid-range area, but is more focused in the highs. You have great separation in the highs and you have great low base. And I'm going to use both, both receivers on flat position. Flat, 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 everything is flat. And I'm going to start... This is the sound of the Pioneer. This is the sound of the Yamaha. Pioneer. Yamaha Very deep bass from the Yamaha Oh yeah, big time Let's go to the Pioneer. Very nice piano from the Pioneer, very sweet sound.
And this is the short review or sound test on the Pioneer SX580. Highly recommend under a hundred bucks. If if you find it in a mint condition, um, I'm not sure that you want to spend more than a hundred bucks because more than a hundred bucks you can get something like the Yamaha that is more powerful. You have an excellent tuner and the separation between the highs and the lows and the rest of the instruments and and his look i think nicer and i think uh, looks nicer and the yama i think sounds better even though the pioneer is really you have the vintage classic look so up to 100 bucks if it's in mint condition maybe 120 and from there you can go to the better receiver like the Yamaha for example but you know everything is matter of taste but I must say when you increase in the highs and the lows in the Yamaha you have very clean sweet sound in the highs and the, and the lows and the bass very deep clean bass but when you increase in the highs and the lows in the Pioneer you know it's not that it's more like mid mid-range area that you increase is not really the highest there's not the best separation and clarity in the twitter area so this is my my recommendation about these two receivers and about uh, the sound difference between the two both gonna be excellent but depends what you're looking for everything depends what you're looking for but you see i still have the pioneer and i enjoy it a lot